Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's Disney Cruise Line haul video. Ah, I cannot believe that we actually went on a Disney cruise. So today's haul video is going to be all of the fun items that I purchased on the Disney Wish, but we actually also went to Walt Disney World for this vacation so I do have a couple of items from the park as well however the majority of the items were items that I purchased on the ship I will make sure to let you know which items were purchased on the ship and which items I purchased in the parks just because the items on the ship you can only purchase on the Disney Wish uh, that's something with Disney Cruise Line you cannot purchase any Disney Cruise Line items unless you're actually on a cruise there was one time at Disney Springs it was like right in the middle of the pandemic when nobody could cruise yet they had a part they had a place in the marketplace co-op in Disney Springs with tons and tons of Disney Cruise Line merchandise they no longer have that there it's like 50th jams now fingers crossed that they bring that back once the 50th is over but I don't think so. So I will make sure to let you know which items were purchased on the cruise and which were purchased in the parks. But I am so pumped to show you everything that we got. I kind of have a good amount, so we're just gonna jump right into it. I don't have a Disney shirt on today. I have my hockey sweatshirt on, but it matched my red ears. I was gonna change, but I'm like, you know what? We're not gonna change. So the first thing I wanted to share with you was on the Disney Cruise Line, they don't have any plastic bags. I know, you're like, what does that have anything to do with it? So if you go to the Disney parks, then you probably recognize this bag. So these are the shopping bags that you would receive when you make a purchase. They have a lot of different sizes. I feel like they're kind of trying to phase them out because they have not had small bags in like, I feel like a year. Um, but you can also purchase in the Disney parks as well, reusable bags. However, on the cruise line, you can only have reusable bags. They do not have any plastic bags, which I get like you're in the middle of the ocean. So totally makes sense. But just know when you go up to purchase something, if you want to have a bag for your item, you're going to have to purchase one of the reusable bags, which, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't mad about I think they're so cute they have the Disney Cruise Line on that side and then the characters Captain Minnie and Mickey with the logos and the ship on the other side um this is something that you can like bring back so if you are a frequent cruiser you could always bring those with you and then you can have them for your vacation also you're on the ship so you could just take your item and drop it off in your stateroom if needed. You don't have to have a bag. I liked the bag. I love a good bag. So y'all know I was totally down for buying that cute recyclable tote. So the next item I'm going to show you is something that everyone receives for free when you enter on the Disney Wish, and that is your wishing wand. So right when you get onto the ship, they welcome your family on and you can get a cute little wishing wand and make sure you stay in the atrium area until they do like the welcoming ceremony. I guess you could call it um, for you and your family so you can definitely like enter in and like dart to get food or like go wherever you want but we really enjoyed hanging out in there for a little bit and then we got to experience like the wishing moment uh, so the little wishing wand it just has so the wishing wand it just says that Disney wish on it with the cute little star up on top and then it's just glittery. It's so fun, I love it. I love seeing all of the little children's walking around during the cruise, like with their wishing wands the whole time. And there are definitely like different opportunities where they bring these back up throughout your cruise. So always make sure that you grab one of these when you get on board. <gasps> 
<laughs> so the next couple of items are just like random fun things that we received while we were on the cruise. So if you didn't know, everything in your stateroom is magnetic. Your door, your walls, like everything is a magnet. And so a lot of people love decorating their stateroom doors. I will have a picture of our stateroom door right here so you can see what ours looked like. Some people like go ham bony on it and it's super cool. I feel like for our like first cruise together, Jackson and I, it was pretty cute. But one thing I really was excited about is that we got a Disney Vacation Club member magnet. Since we are Disney Vacation Club members, they put it on our door and it was already on there when we arrived to our stateroom. So that was super exciting to see. So here is the cute little Disney Vacation Club member magnet. It just says, welcome home. I guess these are brand new. Um, because the other style, I guess too many people had it and they wanted a new one. I really enjoy this style. I am excited to put it on our fridge so we can just look at it every day. So since I've been on the Disney cruise as a child, I already had that Castaway Club membership and they were able to find it for me and everything because I really wanted the Castaway Club gifts that you receive in your room. And one of those gifts is just a fun little lanyard. So everyone will receive a key to the world card. And some people, I don't know if this is gonna focus. Everyone receives a key to the world card and that is your uh, stateroom card. That's the room you can charge things on. That's the card you give to uh, pass photo pass there we go photo pass photographers and it's pretty much like you're just everything card and a lot of people wear it with lanyards you don't have to some people most people do uh, but you get these fun little lanyards by whichever uh, castaway club group you're in so there's silver platinum or silver gold platinum and now there's pearl so i'm not sure what the pearl color would be probably white but you can see if they have a different color on then like they're a higher level this just means that they go on more cruises so the lanyard that i like to use was our disney vacation club member lanyard and it was a lot thicker and then jackson so the reason we got this one was because the disney vacation club booth will actually give you a gift every day on your cruise it was so much fun being able to go to the booth chatting with the cast members and getting our gifts for the day so the first day we received this lanyard and then we also received so the first day we got the lanyard and then we also got these fun little uh string bags i can't remember the exact name for them but they had like pockets on each side and just said Disney Vacation Club member. We actually really enjoyed using these uh, at Castaway Key. They were perfect for us to throw our shoes in there, our clothing items, just random stuff. And I will definitely use those in the future. I love like a good bag. You can throw some shoes in there when you're traveling. But they're really nice quality too. So we definitely enjoyed getting those. We also received um, like a luggage tag, some uh, chapstick, like some lip balm. Another thing. fun item that we got on Castaway Key was the 5K medal. So this one is so cute and it's actually just rubber. We did this um, right in the morning because it was fairly warm the day we were going. So if you are interested in doing that 5K, make sure you do it early in the morning. A good amount of the 5K is in the sh like shade for Sierra, but then there is a part where it is not shady at all whatsoever. So make sure you wear your sunscreen and make sure you do it as early as possible. So now let's get into our fun Disney Cruise Line items that we purchased. So I will say the one thing I was kind of disappointed in is the amount of like Disney Wish 
merchandise. There was plenty of Disney Cruise Line, but I really wanted just a t-shirt that said the Disney Wish on it, and they didn't really have any in stock at the moment. Um, thankfully, I will have another opportunity to go on the Disney Wish, possibly this year, and that is like my one must-have is I am going to go into the shops early and see if I can find just a regular t-shirt that says Disney Wish on it, but we really enjoyed shopping um, in Mickey's main sale and then it was Dory's Forget Me Nuts. I didn't give Dory's shop enough time, so I'm definitely going to give that one enough time next time. But the other thing about the ship is that's pretty much the two main Disney sh shops. They have a higher end with Dooney and Burke, Pandora, Chris Liu, uh, jewelry like that. But then all of the other shops are very, very high end. Like fancy jewelry, like super fancy jewelry, like who's wearing that? And like really, really expensive watches because when I think of a Disney cruise, I think of a $5,000 watch. I don't, not at all, completely being sarcastic. If you didn't, if you didn't catch that. Um, and so I wish that there was more of just like generic Disney stores on the ship and there really wasn't, but I got plenty for the two stories that they had. Number one item I'm going to show you is this cute Disney Cruise Line Tumblr. I love these. I use them every single day. It has the little anchors all the way around and on the, the Tumblr. Have the different characters' outfits. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, that's a good one. You can tell right there. So that's Mickey and Minnie. And then they have like Donald and Goofy. So that is just super cute. I love these tumblers and I cannot wait to add this one to my rotation. The next item that I grabbed was this Disney Cruise Line hat. I love wearing hats at the parks, at home, and this one and this one is just a very classic, simple Disney Cruise Line Nike hat that I really enjoyed and I was happy that they had it. I love magnets and so this was the Disney Wish magnet and she is thick. It was only $10 and I know you're thinking like $10 for a magnet. I thought that was actually pretty cheap uh, compared to like how large it is. Uh, it's pretty much like the whole size of my hand. I have very large hands, but it is like the whole size of my hand. I love getting magnets for new places that we go. And <laughs> hi, Casey. And so I was really happy when I found this one. So now these are the pins that I grabbed, and this one was for 2023, and it says this year I'll be at sea, which honestly is kind of true and i loved this one because it had the year it has mickey just looking so dapper this pin is for the inaugural sailings so something i was kind of disappointed about was that they kind of stopped doing the inaugural stuff and i was really looking forward to that but here is one of the pins that they still had so it just says inaugural And sailing. then this pin is very large. I'm trying to get the good lighting for you to see it. But it just says Disney Wish with Rapunzel's hair. And then she kind of swings back and forth. So on the front of the ship, uh, it has Rapunzel outside, like on the ship with her hair just like this and so i thought this pin was really cool because rapunzel isn't in a lot of places on the ship and so i was happy that they had a pin showing her because she is one of my favorite princesses because i couldn't find a shirt that had anything with the inaugural sailings on it i went ahead and picked up this keychain so it just says inaugural sailings disney wish and it has the cruise line logo and Captain Mickey looking out his little telescope right there. 
And finally, the last inaugural item that I got was this really cute postcard. It just had Captain Minnie and Mickey, again, in that blue and gold style. I thought this might be cute to put uh, in a picture frame and then put like Jackson and I's picture right next to it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I really loved the colors and I thought it would be cute since I can't, they didn't really have anything else with the inaugural stuff on it. So I wanted to grab this just in case and I'll worry about what I'm gonna do with it later. And then speaking of picture frames, I did pick up one of the Cruise Line picture frames. So it just has the Disney Cruise Line logo all around it. We did purchase the photo package. So we have so many cute photos from the cruise that I can't wait to print off. And I'm excited to use our new picture frame. Hi. And then another item that I grabbed in the Mickey's main sale was a swim towel. So it says Disney Wish on it and it's the same it's the same logo as the magnet. So pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much the same. I was just looking at it. Um, it has Mickey and Minnie on it with Pluto and all of their friends. And I love this. I love swim towels. I just love getting different swim towels. So the two so the two clothing items that I grabbed was the Disney Wish with Make-A-Wish Spirit Jersey and this was my number one item that was like must have on the ship and I'm so happy I was able to get it. It's such a beautiful like deep plum uh, color and then with the gold it just says Disney Wish on the back and then it has the Disney Cruise Line logo on the front. I've already worn this many times. It has been through the washer and I am just so happy with how it looks. The or the orange. The gold is kind of like distressed a little bit, so it really has a nice shine and it is just absolutely beautiful. The last apparel item that I got was for 2023 Disney Cruise Line. And it, so it has the fireworks and then it has Captain Minnie. Yes, girl. It says 2023 Disney Cruise Line. And then it says where magic meets the sea. It's a really pretty mint color. And I just absolutely, again, love this. I saw this immediately through the window and I was like, I am buying that as soon as it opens. Um, I've noticed that Disney's really into the full zip jackets this year. Like, I guess that's like back in trend. But then on the front, it just has 2023 Disney Cruise Line. If you've watched my channel before, then you already know this, but we love getting ornaments every time we travel to Disney. We have a big Christmas tree and we put all of our Disney Christmas ornaments on that tree every year. And so, of course, we had to get one for our cruising and it's very nicely packed away. So I'm just gonna show it to you through the package. It says smooth sailing, it's time to cruise 2023 Disney Cruise Line. I actually picked this one out and then they had it all nice and packaged for me already, which I personally really appreciated. And so it just again has Mickey and Minnie on it up top, Captain Minnie and Captain Mickey. And then it says smooth sailing, it's time to cruise 2023 with some fireworks all around it. And the final item that I got at Mickey's the main sale was the Cinderella statue. So in every cruise ship, there is a golden statue and for the wish it is Cinderella. And then she also has her little friends on the back. So there's like a life size statue of Cinderella and the friends in the main atrium. And so you can then purchase, so then you can purchase these little statues and I'm not sure where this is going to live yet. I feel like it's gonna be in our living room cause that's kind of like our living room vibes. 
but one day I hope that we can have all of the cruise ship statues, which means we've went on every single Disney cruise ship, which would be so cool. But right at the bottom, it just says Disney Wish. And Cinderella, Cinderella in real life, Cinderella in real life, like the actual statue, kind of looks creepy, not gonna lie. She's kind of creepy. Um, but this one is very nice and it's not too heavy at all. I believe, yeah, it was $50. So honestly, for Disney pricing, it's not that bad. Um, it was really packaged all really nicely in styrofoam for me. So I wasn't worried about getting it home. Um, but anything like that. So I absolutely love this. And again, this was another like I have to get that item for our cruise. Community is absolutely amazing. And Jen and Tim were kind enough to gift me one of their inaugural Sailing Castaway Club bags. <gasps> oh, you guys, I was over the moon excited when she said that they had an extra and I could have it because I was just, <clears throat> I really wanted this so bad. I think I drove Jackson insane about how many times I like talked about it and when I saw somebody have it, I was like, oh no, someone has that back. But it is so sinking cute. It has Mickey with the telescope and then it just says inaugural sailings disney wish with the logo i just love the gold and blue color it has a zipper which is awesome love a good bag with a zipper and then it has a pocket inside with the castaway club logo it's a very large i cannot wait to use this just for a pool bag on on our next vacations it's just so great and i that they gifted to me because they had an extra was the castaway club little like travel wallet and it's really cute so it just says disney cruise line in the middle and then it has like the id holder with more cards a pen holder and then a really big pocket up top um, I really do feel like I will use this when we go on our cruises just because you do have to have a lot of paperwork uh, You have to have your passports our QR codes worked on our phone But we always like to print them out just in case like you just never know with technology So again shout out to Jen and Tim. Thank you so much for being the kindest people ever and just making me happy again because i was really sad that i wasn't gonna get that <laughs> jump into items that i got at the parks yay so i will say uh when we went to walt disney world it was the festival of the arts and so that is super exciting which means i finally got my hands on the figment popcorn bucket he is so stinking cute and it is a massive like this popcorn bucket is huge it has the epcot 40th um lanyard on it with his little wingies and his horns i feel like he doesn't look creepy i really enjoy figment when he is not in the ride the figment like doll or what is it called like i don't know it's not a doll it's the one in the ride like the animatronic or whatever they're called is creepy as ever like the figment on merch and drawings and posters that figment is super cute the figment in the ride is creepy like you're not gonna change my mind on it it is creepy but i had to had to had to get the cute little figment popcorn bucket he'll just live in my office and you actually do get popcorn with it so in order to open the figment popcorn bucket this year you have to pull down his mouth and then that opens and his colorful popcorn is inside. And it was the cutest interaction ever. His The cast member's name was Dave, I believe. And he was just so nice and so kind. And you could just tell he loved giving people their Figma popcorn buckets. And he went through like how you have to open it by Figma's mouth this year and not just by the wings. I'm assuming that's because maybe it like 
they were breaking or something but honestly i would have bought in like 10 figment popcorn buckets just because of dave like he was the sweetest cast member oh core memory core memory so we're gonna stick with festival of the arts and one thing i did was paint my numbers and if you haven't seen my festival of the arts vlog i'll go ahead and leave that link down below but doing the paint by numbers but by doing the paint by numbers, you get this cute little bookmark of the mur mural. I have a hard time saying that word. Um, that you helped paint it. So this was the one that I was able to help paint. And that's just like a fun little takeaway. Also at the Festival of the Arts, we did the Animation Academy. So if you don't know what that is, an animator will come and do a class on how to draw one of the Disney characters. Uh, they have this in Disneyland and they actually have it in Animal Kingdom and I absolutely love it. It is honestly one of like my childhood core memories of going to Disney. My mom would sit with me in those classes and would just like do drawing after drawing after drawing because I just loved learning how to draw the characters. It definitely is something that I really find joy out of and I'm sure I don't know if Jackson enjoys it but he'll do it because he knows that I like it uh, so we got to draw the 100 and Dalmatians mom and at this moment in time I cannot remember what her name is Perdima Perdina I don't remember but this was her and this was my drawing and this is Jackson's and so you get to keep these um, for these ones, they didn't give us any guidelines, but sometimes, and I believe the ones in Animal Kingdom, they do have guidelines on the paper for you, so it just makes it a little bit more enjoyable. With the Festival of the Arts, there's obviously tons of art all around, and we did actually purchase some pieces of art. We did purchase them in the Festival of the Arts booth, technically, but we did purchase some pieces of art. So Larry Dotson um, is all, Larry Dotson's art normally is always in the Norway Pavilion. Sometimes he is there. And I really wanted a Disney Cruise Line um, art piece. And so I went ahead and went with, this one's called Vacation Memories. And these, so this one is called Vacation Memories. I don't wanna take it out of the plastic quite yet. Uh, but you can see that it has the Disney cruise ship in the back and then there's a little sign right down here that says Disney's Castaway Key. And I just love it. I cannot wait to hang it up in our house. Uh, we actually have a couple of these now because I also got the Disney Riviera one the last time that I saw these available in the parks. Uh, he didn't have Disney Riviera yet so I was really excited to see that. He it does say 2023 and this one does say 2022 so this is the newer one I was really happy that he finally had the Disney Riviera one because that is our home resort and we absolutely love staying there so that's all the fun items that I got at the Festival of the Arts now I'm just going to show you all the other randomness that we purchased so at Disney's Animal Kingdom they have really fun dino games and I've done this so many times now and I just really want this dang stinking dino and I cannot win it for the life of me there's one two three four five six games maybe and it is like the most sought out dino and you have to have so many players in order for that dino to be like up for grabs in that moment and it's like the highest number and there's not a lot of people that do the games so I tried and I won a mini and a mickey <laughs> and then a little mini <laughs> so we were successful. I just didn't get the dinosaur that I wanted. But like these guys are still cute. However, I have like two of these now. I think this was my first Mickey. I don't even know at this point. I just really wanted the last dino and I just so I purchased three apparel items. I purchased two shirts and a sweatshirt. I know I'm so proud of myself. And this one says, Wish you were here, and it has um different park icons inside of the walt disney world 
like logo right there. So I'm not a huge fan of this Walt Disney World logo style, but I really liked the shirt. I really liked the blue. It is really soft, so I was happy with that. And I'm really glad that I got it. The next shirt was one that was very popular, and it is the 25th anniversary shirt, and it says, it's time to remember the magic. And it, this part right here is actually embroidered, which is really cool. And then it has the Walt Disney World logo on the bottom with October 1st, 1996. Um, yeah. But this shirt is very sought after. And on the front, it has the castle. And then this is embroidered as well with the Walt Disney World logo on the bottom. I really like the quality of this shirt and the embroidering of the characters. You don't see that very much anymore. It's normally just like printed. I loved this style just because I was there during the 25th anniversary and it was it's really cute for the picture that we have of like us standing in front of the Kate Castle. I don't remember remember it, but I was like 4. 92, 93, 94, 95. Yeah, I was four years old when we went. Technically, I could have been three. Um, but it is really cute. And I love this new shirt. And then the sweatshirt I got was the same style. So on the front, it just had that castle again. And then on the back, it was the same as the t-shirt. And then finally, the last item I wanted to show you was the ornament that I got. So it was actually kind of nice because this one was already personalized and it says 2023 up at the top and it is Minnie Mouse on the other side then it just says Walt Disney Minnie Mouse. We have Chip and Dale and Donald now so now we have Minnie to go along with this style. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Those are all of the fun items that I got on our last Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line vacation. We had the absolute best freaking time. We can not wait to go back. Make you guys so comment down below which item was your favorite that I grabbed. And if you go to Walt Disney World, let me know what you enjoy most. What's your favorite park? I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Um, my favorite park currently in Walt Disney World, I will say, not Disneyland or Disney California Adventure. Let's not count those because we know who is superior. Hmm. Um, but I will say my favorite current favorite park probably is Epcot but I just love Magic Kingdom like it's hard it hurts my heart when I don't say Magic Kingdom just because it's it's Magic Kingdom like come on anyways thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and I'll see you real soon bye